Igniting Our Village is an incredible opportunity for us to show what can be achieved at scale and how density can be done incredibly well. My name is Dan McKenna and I'm the CEO of Nightingale Housing. Nightingale Housing is a not-for-profit housing provider and we focus on delivering housing designed for people rather than for profit. Nightingale Village just down the road from us is a collaboration between six architects, Nightingale Housing and it's importantly a really incredible example of what we can do at an urban scale as these buildings face each other across the street and businesses spill out and residents spill out onto the street and really engage with each other day to day. In terms of location, Nightingale Village is located in Brunswick on Wurundjeri Woiwurrung land and we would like to acknowledge elders past, present and emerging and acknowledge these lands were never ceded. So our core purpose at Nightingale Housing is to revolutionise the way we live together. It's a bold statement which we absolutely believe in 100% and that involves pushing ideas around sustainability and pushing ideas around community and what affordability means. And so there's a number of different ideas that we see come through in Nightingale Village. There's a 20% allocation to community housing providers provided through Women's Property Initiative and Housing Choices Australia. Another core pillar of Nightingale Housing is community and the fact that we are building homes for people to live in. So we really, really care about how we design our spaces to enable people to bump into each other, to enable those small scale interactions that form relationships between neighbours. We're also pushing a lot of sustainability initiatives centred around the idea of reductionism and we really question whether things need to be included and how we can reduce our impact as much as humanly possible. And that ties into reducing the cost of construction and reducing the cost of housing as much as we possibly can. So there are all sorts of shared sustainable initiatives across the village. Importantly, the village is a gas-free precinct powered by 100% green power and PV solar across the rooftops of our buildings. And so Fisher and Pica were an obvious number one for us because they are global leaders in induction technology and have high design standards that we were really, really impressed by. And so they've partnered with us and enabled us to continue to grow and achieve our mission. At Fisher & Paykel, our design intent is really informed by our view of the future and how the world is changing. We look at things like how the urban environment is evolving, and in a lot of cases that means smaller footprints for our homes, and I think really sustainable design is the only design for the future. So when we look at partnerships, I think we look at other businesses that have similar values and similar purpose to us but perhaps come at it from a different part of the customer journey or, or from a different perspective. And I think one of the reasons why the partnership is so important with Nightingale is that it's actually not about just saying we're doing the right thing, it's about actually doing the right thing. So I'm really delighted that at Fisher & Paykel we're able to supply the products that meet the Nightingale Village standards. For me personally, what I really love about the village is that it creates an opportunity for people to enter into a, a housing ownership model who otherwise may not have had the opportunity. And it prioritises first and foremost both social and sustainable environmental outcomes. And if I had to choose a great example of that, it would be for me the village atmosphere the community that has come in and that has absolutely made it their own. As architects, designers, developers, housing providers, you can plan for things, you can think about things, you can draw things, you can build things, but it's actually up to the people who come in and live in these buildings to make it reality. So it's been an incredible takeaway to see people live in their communities and make these buildings come to life.